All of the following images were taken using pop-up flash. Nothing else pop-up flash. If you don't believe me, watch this video and I'll show you how to do it. You can turn your pop-up flash on your camera into a professional studio lighting kit at almost no cost. Your pop-up flash can do a range of professional lighting effects, such as beauty lighting, clamshell lighting, Rembrandt lighting. You can do side light, you can do backlight, you can do a range of different lighting effects simply with the pop-up flash on your camera. You can use snoots, you can use gobos, you can use smoke, you can use gels, and you can shoot anything from headshots right through to full length shots, all with your camera's pop-up flash. How many times have you seen professional photographers say that a pop-up flash produces bad, ugly lighting? They need to think again. Is this lighting bad or ugly? I don't think so. When you put a bit of effort into learning how light works with photography, you can do amazing things. Watch this video and I'll show you in a studio demonstration how I got all of these effects and more from my pop-up flash. If you can't justify the cost of buying an auxiliary flash or a speed light, you can still do creative studio lighting or outdoor lighting simply with your pop-up flash. You just need to think about it and plan things a little bit more. The secret behind this technique is to use a mirror or a mirror, depending on which part of the world you come from. The mirror is used to divert the light from your pop-up flash into another direction. So we place the mirror or the mirror in front of our pop-up flash to prevent it hitting our subject. And then this light from the flash will be diverted to another direction. Then we can use modifiers such as another mirror or a white card or anything like that, a gobo, to bounce that light back onto our subject. And we can create light from any direction. We can create hard light, we can create soft light, we can change the color of the light, we can change the intensity of the light. Anything pretty much you want to do in a studio, you can do with this technique. Simply using a mirror in front of your pop-up flash. Now the way we secure the mirror in front of that pop-up flash is to use some blue tack or poster putty, whatever you want to call it in your part of the world. We simply place that on the bed in front of our pop-up flash and we can place our mirror in front of that and that will hold it in position. So that allows us to have that constant mirror there. We can vary the angle that that mirror sits on. As long as we block it from our subject, we can place this mirror this way so that it bounces light upwards we can reflect it back down onto our subject. We can place it to the side so that that light bounces to the left or the right, and we can then modify that light as it reflects back onto our subject. You'll see all this done in the studio with our live shoot at the end of this video. Now bouncing that pop-up flash into different directions is great, but we need some other way to reflect that light back onto our subject. If I was shooting in a white room, I could reflect that light up onto the ceiling and use that ceiling as my light source, a nice soft light source that will bounce down onto my subject. If I had white walls, I could bounce that light across onto those white walls and that would reflect the light back onto my subject. I don't have white walls or a white ceiling in my studio. It's simply a converted garage. So I'm using either white foam core, foam core board or cardboard, or I'm using mirrors to bounce that light back onto my subject. It's the same principle, it's just a different way of working. Now I'm doing this technique for the first time today. I've never done it before, but I understand about lighting and the principle, so I'm pretty sure that it's going to work. The images that you see in the demonstration at the end of this video may not be perfect. The exposure is going to be a little bit out, the, the white balance may be a little bit out, and it may take me a little while to, to nail the possibilities that I'm trying with this mirror technique and the pop-up flash. But the possibilities are there. And when I try it next time, I can do it a little bit better. But I just wanna show you the principle so that you can experiment yourself and produce some amazing images simply with your pop-up flash. I'm using my camera on a tripod. 
just because it's a little bit easier for me to do it that way, you could hand hold this stuff. I've also got a few assistants to help me to hold the reflectors and the mirrors in various different places. You could do all of this yourself. It would just be a little bit more involved. You could place your reflectors or your mirrors on light stands or um, place them up against a wall if you want to. And you could do this whole technique yourself. It's just easier and quicker for me to be able to do it with my assistants. Also, I'm doing this technique in a lit room. So we have the studio lights on for this whole time. It's going to be easier for the video, obviously, when we've got lights. Some of the techniques we're going to be shooting in the dark, but most of it's done in the room lighting. That room lighting has little effect on the final results. In fact, in the video demonstration, I turn the lights out and shoot the same shot, and it looks exactly the same with the lights on or with the lights off. So these studio lights are not having any effect or having minimal effect on the results that we're getting. I had to vary my camera settings a little bit, um, mostly my aperture, because I don't want to change my shutter speed because I need to keep it under my synchronization speed. So I varied my aperture to be able to uh, cope with the different reflectance of the surfaces that we were using. Obviously, if I'm using a mirror, that's going to reflect a lot more light than it would if I was using a white card. So I've just varied my aperture a little bit. That's why my exposure is a little bit up or down. But with a little bit more thought and a little bit slower working, I could now lose fairly accurately. I'm also shooting at 1600 ISO because the limiting factor with this technique is the power of your pop-up flash. Most pop-up flashes don't have a great maximum power. So I'm shooting at 1600 in this initial try out, but you could probably easily shoot at 800 or 400 and just use a larger aperture. I'm shooting at 5.6 to start with. If you've got a larger aperture lens, you could shoot at 200 or 400 or 800 and get similar results. Now, the first thing you have to do is enable your pop-up flash uh, in your menu. If your camera's not already enabled the flash, you need to get in there so that the flash will pop up when you want it to. You also need to shoot on manual exposure because manual exposure means that you can use that pop-up flash whenever you want to. If you're shooting on any of the auto modes, the pop-up flash is not gonna be there when you need it all the time. Plus, your exposures are going to be easier to nail when you're shooting on manual exposure. You can vary the power of your flash as well. Most cameras allow you to vary the power of your flash in your flash menu. So you can do that. I've just set mine at maximum power because I wanted the most power I could get out of it. So that's why I've set it to maximum power. You can also set your flash to either ETTL or manual exposure. So I, I much prefer manual exposure because it's so much easier than TTL. You could use TTL, which is another name for automatic on your flash, but the results that you get with TTL will be varied depending on your background tone, your, your subjects, clothing, all of those sort of things. I'd rather use manual so I get consistent results or more consistent results. Now I've just scratched the surface of this technique with this video. There are so many other variations that I'm going to do in the future and I'll do a more advanced one in the future about shooting with your pop-up flash. But just look at the amazing results we can get with these basic settings. And if we use techniques that are a little bit more complicated, then we can get some more amazing results. If you have any questions about this technique, put them in the comments below. If you've tried this technique and come up with some results, put them there as well. If you've got any questions or any statements about this pop-up flash technique, please put them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So have a look at this video demonstration in the studio using my pop-up flash and you'll be amazed at the results that you can get with a minimum of equipment. Okay, so here we are in the studio. We're about to do some of this pop-up flash work. You're gonna be amazed with the shots that we get. Now, the critical factor in all of these shots is this little mirror that we use. This is an acrylic one, just because it's safer than using a glass one. You could use a glass mirror about the same size. And I've got my blue tack or my poster putty here that's going to attach it to my camera. So we just attach the blue tack onto our mirror and then we're gonna put it in front of our pop-up flash to direct that light where we want it to go. Our pop-up flash generally just faces forwards and gives us that that in your face sort of bright light, which can be attractive and can be worked um, and can work quite well. But what we want to do is redirect that flash to another position so we can modify it and reflect it back onto our model. 
So there are two different types of light we can use and we're going to be using both of them today. We've got soft light, which means that we're going to be using a reflector, a whiteboard or a silver reflector to bounce that light back onto Layla, which will give us a softer overall light. And we're going to be using hard light because we're going to be using some mirrors. The mirror that bounces the light from the pop-up flash into another mirror, which will reflect the light back onto Layla, which will give us hard light because the mirror reflects exactly what hits it. So it doesn't diffuse the light at all. It doesn't soften it. It gives us that hard light with those hard shadows. So it's just a different effect. Neither one's better than the other. It's just a different way of working. We're going to try a whole range of different options here today, and you're going to be amazed at the shots that we get. The first shot we're going to be doing is simply with the pop-up flash lighting Layla, the way that you traditionally would use a pop-up flash. So we're going to do that shot so you can compare that with all of the other results that we get. Okay, Leila, just looking straight at me. Focus on your eyes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so that's an example of the pop-up flash. It looks quite attractive. Um, it, the, the light's very direct, but we're going to modify it to change it. So we're going to put our mirror in front of our pop-up flash. What we want to do, the mirror does a, a couple of jobs. The first one is that it blocks the light hitting Layla, so that pop-up flash light doesn't hit her. The second one is that it reflects the light back or to another part of the room, so we can use that soft light to reflect back onto Layla. The first thing we're going to do is use this large reflector. We're going to use it behind our camera, our mirror in front of the pop-up flash is going to reflect that light back onto our reflector, and that's going to give us soft light directly onto Layla's face, which is very much like a, um, a beauty light. Like using a big softbox, but we're using our pop-up flash. Okay, so just leave that light on for a start. We'll see how we go. There we go. Okay, so you can see the results of that. It's different than the pop-up flash. It doesn't give you that direct hard light. It gives you more of a direct soft light because we're using the large reflector. Now we could do the same principle in a room with white walls and a white ceiling. But my studio here hasn't got white walls or a white ceiling, so we're just simulating the white walls and the ceiling using this reflector. Okay, so the same result you could get with those white walls. Okay, so we're going to do that shot again. We're going to tilt our mirror up a little bit more so that it reflects a little bit further back. So this light is going to come from a little bit lower down. We had it up here before, we're going to drop it down here, which is a little bit more direct into Layla's face, and it'll be a little bit more flattering light. Okay, here we go, Layla. Great stuff. Now you see that's just a slight difference with the, the first light from the second light. So now we're doing similar lighting, but we're going to use a reflector as well in a traditional clamshell type of light. So we're going to use this silver reflector in front of Layla so that that soft light from my white reflector is going to bounce up off here and give us that clamshell lighting. A little bit from the top, a little bit from the bottom, and it gives us a bit more of a flattering light. Okay, just focusing again. Lovely. Okay, here we go, Leila. That's it. That's great. You can see the difference in that shot because we've got that nice light coming up on Leila's face, but the light from the top is predominating because we need to have the predominant light coming down on her. Now we're going to move this reflector up a little bit high to simulate a ceiling light. So we're going to hold the reflector up here above the flash. So we need to tilt our mirror a little bit further forward so that that light is reflected upwards onto our reflector, which will bounce down onto Layla, simulating bounce light from the ceiling. Okay, here we go. Back here, ready. Great. You'll see that light comes down on Layla a little bit more than the other light did because we're shooting a little bit more directly. So this is simulating ceiling light. Okay, so we're gonna change this around and have this light coming in from the side. Now for this purpose, I've got a couple of assistants here with me today, some of my students. You can do this stuff on your own. 
You need to be a little bit more careful and work a little bit more slowly, but it would make a very boring video if I spent 20 minutes each shot trying to get my mirrors and my reflectors in the right spot. So I'm going to use my intelligent assistants to be able to do that for me. So what we're going to do here is change the, the angle of our mirror once again. We're going to move our blue tack further along to the end of our mirror, put it on here, and we're going to angle our mirror across this way so that the light from the pop-up flash is still blocked from hitting Layla, but this light is going to hit Greg's reflector. Now the way that Greg can find the correct place for that reflector is for him to look in this mirror and see where that pop-up flash is, and when he's got that in the right spot, he can just hold the reflector up in front of his face. So, probably back that way. Can you, you see the reflector in here, the, the flash in here? Yep. Hold it up a little bit higher. That's it. Okay, good. So now we're going to shoot this and we'll get that light coming in from the side. Okay, here we go, Leila. Lovely. So you can see we've changed the angle of that light. We've got side light now. We might turn Layla's face a little bit towards that light. Yeah, let's push that hair out. Yeah, that's it. Lovely. Here we go. Beautiful light from a pop-up flash. Who would believe it? I don't believe it sometimes. So that looks great. We're going to get Greg in a little bit closer with that light. The closer Greg gets to Layla, the brighter that light's going to be. So I may need to compensate for it with my aperture, but we'll just see how we go. Here we go. Okay, lovely. You can see the difference in that exposure. Simply because Greg got in a little bit closer, the light doesn't have to travel quite so far. So all we've done here is we've moved Greg a little bit further around. He can still see the flash, the pop-up flash from his position and he's holding that reflector up in front of his face. Just maybe turn it towards later a little bit more. Okay, so this light's going to be a little bit more side light on Layla's face. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's great. Now Layla, I want you to turn to look at this edge of the reflector. Yeah, that's it. Maybe turn your face further. Yeah, that's it. Good. Here we go. Okay, lovely. You can see that beautiful light coming in from that uh, left-hand side of frame. Now we're just going to do a couple of effects without the mirror this time. We're, we're going to use the direct light from the pop-up flash, but we're going to modify it a little bit with these very expensive light modifiers. This one's just a bit of a tube that I've made out of black cardboard, and this one's simply a bit of box that I've cut a little slot in. So what I'm going to do here is hold these in front of the flash. This one will give us a spot, a circle of light, small circle of light on Layla's face. This one will give us just that same shape of the cutout on Layla's face. Okay, now this is a bit tricky to try and get it lined up properly, so it may take a couple of tries. All right, so here we go Layla, we're going to put that down. No, I don't think so, we should be fine. Um, I might have to alter the exposure. So I'm just going to put this tube over the front of the flash. You're looking straight at me, Layla. Yep, here we go. Okay, there we go. Once again, a little bit lower. Another one. A little bit lower. Okay. We've contained the spread of light from our pop-up flash. Okay, this time we're just going to use this little slotted card. I'm going to hold it a little bit further in front so that we get a little bit more of a sharp edge on this card. I don't obviously don't want to put it in front of my lens, so I'm going to just rest it on top of my lens here. Try to line that up. I want a bit of a diagonal line where Layla's face is, and here we go. Okay. Ah, perfect. First time. So, pop-up flash modified with a gobo that costs absolutely nothing.
So now we've switched to a hard light. We're going to use, instead of the diffusers, the reflectors, we're going to use a, a mirror. And the mirror is going to reflect that hard light back onto Layla. You'll see the difference between the hard light and the soft light because it, it throws more distinct shadows um, and it's just a, a more aggressive sort of lighting. But it's much more efficient because the mirror reflects maybe 90% of the light that hits it, whereas the reflector board maybe only does 40% or so. Greg's playing around to try and light my face here, but I'll, I'll excuse him for it if he behaves himself for the rest of the day. Okay, so you hold that up slightly above Layla. Yep. And you're seeing that in there? Yeah? Okay, that's great. Just focusing again. Okay, here we go. Lovely. Now, because that mirror reflects a lot more light, I've had to reduce my aperture down to uh, keep my exposure the way that I want it. So instead of using, uh, I was using about f uh, 5.6 before, I'm down on f8 or f9.1. Okay, that looks great. So turn your face a little bit more later. Yeah, that's it. Still looking at the camera. Here we go. Just a little tilt to the side. Yeah, that way? Yeah, good. Okay. Lovely, beautiful light. Um, now, Greg, we're going to get you further around so that that light's a little bit more to the side of Layla. That's it. Okay, you do that. You're still in the right position. Can you turn your eyes there? Can you see? That way? Okay, wonderful. That little tilt. Yep, great. Okay, now I want you to turn your face straight over towards the background there. Yeah, eyes to me. Yeah, terrific. We're going to push it a little bit more now. We're going to get Greg further around so that light's coming a little bit from the back onto Layla's face. Okay. Again, can you have a look in there? <laughs> bit, bit too far there. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. Just tilt up a little bit, Greg. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Looking at me, Layla. Terrific. Now turn your face around. Straight, look straight over that way for me. Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. Just maybe tilt that mirror down a little bit, Greg, yeah? Because we're just getting a little bit of fall off on the bottom from the edge of the mirror. So can you turn it around vertically, please, Greg? Yep. Do the same sort of thing. Just back around away from me a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. Lovely. Okay. Now looking straight over there, Layla. Yeah. Terrific. Okay, beautiful light from your pop-up flash. Just takes a little bit of modification, uh, a little bit of thought to get these results. We've got a lot more to show you in this video and a lot more spectacular stuff as well. So I thought we'd give Greg a bit of a rest and, and get a couple of the ladies to hold this larger mirror. Um, it's, a, it's a bigger mirror, so it's gonna give me a bigger pool of light. We've got Layla sitting on the floor, on the background, on the white background. And if we angle this mirror in the right way, we're going to get beautiful side lighting or three-quarter side lighting onto Layla. All right, here we go. I can see Layla in the mirror, so we're in the right spot. Here we go. Eyes to camera, Layla. Yep. Terrific. Yeah, look at that. We get a bit of a shadow from the edge of the mirror, but it looks more spectacular that way. I really like that. So we're going to turn that mirror a little bit more that way. Yep, that's it. Okay, here we go. Good. Now, Layla, just look over towards the mirror. Yep, this side of it, if you can. Yep, with your eyes, just look at um, Pooja's elbow. That's it. And now turn your eyes back to me. Yeah. That's it. Fantastic. Okay, so girls, can you move further back around that way? A bit further, Tonsi, more. Yep, another step. Yep, that's it. Okay, so um, Tonsi, you need to push forward a little bit. Yep, and pooja back a little bit. Okay, that's great. Okay, Layla, I want you to turn your face over that way. Yep, okay, here we go. Great, now your eyes to me. Yeah. And a bit of a head tilt. Yep. And a smiley one. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I don't know if I shot quickly enough for that smile, but still, it worked okay. All right, that looks great. That face, Layla, yeah. Beautiful, that's it. Tilt that head a little bit, yep, great. Okay, ah, spectacular. 
spectacular results. Um, who would know that this was shot with your pop-up flash? All you need is a couple of really keen assistants to hold that mirror for you. They're doing a great job. Um, and you can get this amazing lighting. We're going to do some more stuff, some more intricate stuff, some, some stuff that's got a little bit of wow factor in it. Now we've got Layla standing up. We've got a large-ish mirror, so it's going to be enough to cover her whole body. If we needed a, a larger pool of light, we could just move that mirror further back or move Layla further back to increase that size of that um, diamond shape on the background. Just going to widen it up. Okay. Here we go. Okay, ready? Good stuff. All right, so just tilt it back at the top a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Okay, here we go again. Great, Layla. Yeah. Maybe hands behind your back. Yeah, good. Great. Turn your shoulders this way, your body around this way a bit more. Yep, and turn your face back to that shoulder. Yeah, here we go. That's great, ladies. Okay, so just tilt it. Um, you bring yours out a bit, Pooja. Yeah, that's it. That's enough. Okay. Here we go. Great stuff. All right, that looks good. All right, you can drop it down now. So now, just excuse models walking in the background. So now we're going to use a, the diffusion panel, the reflector, to light Layla, so that we've got that softer, more diffused light. Okay? Uh, it's a similar effect. It's just a little bit softer and a little bit more diffused, surprisingly. Okay, up a little bit higher, yeah? Okay, here we go, Layla. Great. Maybe feet apart a little bit. Yeah, that hip out a little, yeah, great. That's it, yeah. Terrific, can we turn those lights out, please? That's it, here we go. Yeah, we're getting the same result. Okay, turn them back on again. All right, now we'll sit you down. Again, same way you were before. That's it. So you can drop it down a little bit now, Tonsi, yeah? That's it. So the same thing, just look for where that is and then put that up in front of your face. Yep, okay, Layla, turn your face that way for me. Yep, eyes to me, here we go. That's it, all right, here we go. That's it, turning, yep, maybe tilt. Yeah, here we go. Great stuff. Yeah, lovely. Can you get in a bit closer, Tonsi, please? And drop it down a little bit more? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Might have to turn it to me a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Here we go, Layla. Yeah. Lovely. So we're going to just lift the level of these shots up a little bit more. We're going to use a mirror, which we've got a cutout attached to the front of. So this is going to throw that cutout effect onto Layla's face. It's going to be quite difficult to get it in the right spot. If you're using continuous light, this stuff would be a little bit easier because you can see the effect directly onto Layla's face. But we're using our pop-up flash and that's the purpose of the whole exercise. So we're going to use that mirror on the camera to bounce light onto this mirror and this is going to throw that pattern onto Layla's face. Shall we? Okay, here we go. That's good. I can actually see it. Greg, um, left hand back a little bit, just a touch in. Yep. Okay, good. Yeah, just looking good, but you look at me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Turn it into a diamond, Greg. Yep. Tilt your right hand forward to me. A bit further. Yep, that's it. Good. A bit more. Too far. Back. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's cool. That'll be great. Don't smile. Okay, now we're going to do this one. So, Tonsi, can you hold this? Greg can hold that. So we want yours in front of here, like that, so Layla can see the flash through there in that. A bit more? No, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's it. That's perfect, Greg. Okay, Tonsi, you hold it up in there. Okay, back towards you, Tonsi. Here we go. Good. Yeah. Yeah, great. Yep. That's good. Just tilt that head a bit. Yeah. Lovely. One more. Nice to me. Okay. Perfect. 
So now we're going to use this foliage. We're going to get this in front of Layla. So she looks like a jungle person. That's going to go here, okay? And we're going to try and see Layla's eye through there. Yep. But we're going to but we're going to reflect the light over this way. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Can I just have other camera with that So you're holding this up here, Pooja, in front, and then you're lighting in behind this. So we need this right. forward, okay. forward a little bit. So we yep. need it on a broomstick is what you say. <laughs> yeah, so maybe move it a little bit further down that way. Yeah, okay. So what we're doing here is we're reflecting the flash in behind this bit of foliage and we're shooting Layla through the foliage, which is something that you wouldn't normally do with a flash on camera. But because we're controlling that light coming in from that left-hand side, we're gonna be able to do that without overpowering the light on this foliage here. Layla, I want your eye to look through there so you can see me, yeah? That's good. Right, zooming in, here we go. Yeah. Great, Layla, perfect. Yeah, good. At least I haven't got you mixed up yet. I'm not calling you Tonsi or <laughs> whatever, I'm calling them Greg. Okay. No, we don't need that anymore, so I'll get rid of that. Don't tell my wife I cut that off because she won't be happy. So now we're simply going to use this blue gel over the top of our acrylic mirror. This blue gel is going to make this light reflecting off this mirror blue. So we're going to get a blue light onto Layla. So we can change the color of this light quite easily just by using a gel over the front of our mirror. Okay, so same deal, Layla. You look where that light is reflecting at the flash. That's it. Great. Just tonsy left hand, right hand back. No, too far back there. Too far back. Yeah, back. Yeah, here we go. Great. Yeah, tilt it, lift it up a little bit more. Yep, here we go. It's good. Sorry, I'm not giving you any warning later, but that's great. One more. Okay, terrific. Okay, so now we're gonna extend this concept a little bit more and we're gonna cheat a little bit. We're gonna be using pop-up flash, still the same, but we're gonna be using a separate pop-up flash from the one that we use to take the image. I've got a separate camera here that I can use my pop-up flash to light Layla with and I can control it by putting an umbrella in front of it. So it will soften that light down. So if you don't have studio flashes or any off-camera flash, you can simply use a second camera body with your pop-up flash. And we'll get some great results with this. I'll show you how we do it. Now this does complicate things a little bit more because how am I gonna synchronize my shutter on my taking camera with the flash on the lighting camera? The way I do it is I turn my shutter speed down quite slow, down to half a second or one second, and that allows my assistant to, when they hear that click of that shutter open, they push the, sh the shutter button on the other camera and that will give us that light. The problem with that is that we've got a lot of light in here and half a second or one second is going to overexpose my image. So we're going to get Greg to push the button on the light switch to turn the lights off. Okay. I'll that's it. Okay. <laughs> now Robbie's in the dark. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna focus my image. Yep, that's it. That's great, Layla. All right, ready to turn the light off? Um, as soon as you hear the, the click go, you push the button. Um, one second. Okay, here we go, Tonsi. That's it, well done, beautiful. Okay, turn your face a little bit more, Layla. Yep, here we go. That's it, great stuff. All right, now getting a bit closer to the Broly Tonsi, please, if you can see. Yep, here we go. A little bit more smiley in the eyes, Layla. You're looking a bit 
aggressive there. <laughs> Here we go. Excellent, Tonsi. Beautiful. Okay. Lights back on, please. I got my like, own. Oh, it is a camera. That's it. Okay. So you can see we're still using our pop-up flash. We're just using pop-up flash on a separate camera. And, and that gives us that beautiful result because we're diffusing, softening that light through the umbrella and it gives us that beautiful effect. We're extending that concept yet again. We're using pop-up flashes still, but we're going to use three. I've got two auxiliary cameras and my taking camera. We're going to light Layla with the umbrella and this pop-up flash. And then we're going to light our background with this pop-up flash with the blue gel over the front of it. So we're lighting our background blue, we're lighting Layla with natural white light, and we're recording it on my um, taking camera. So my exposure is one second. So as soon as my assistants hear my shutter open, they both fire their cameras, and Tonsi's lighting the background with the blue, and then Greg and Pooja are lighting Layla with the umbrella. It sounds very complicated, but, you know, we're doing pop-up flash, so we want to try and do as much as we can. Okay, so, Tonsi, you got your camera? Yep. So you're just going to hold this over there, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. right up close to it. And you're going to stand here and just aim it at the background. Okay. So, um, flashing to the background? Yes. For me, please. Okay, I can't see anything, but here we go. Everybody ready? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah, works cool. That's great. Totsi, can you turn that light switch back on, please? Okay, so what we're doing now is going back to the original concept. We're using our mirror to redirect our pop-up flash onto uh, another mirror or a reflector we might use. And so we're going to light Layla with that nice three-quarter front lighting. But we're going to get one of our secondary pop-up flashes in the background to backlight her hair. So we can do a number of things with this. We can blow her hair around so that we get that blown hair effect with that backlight coming through or we can spray some smoke or some water in the background to give us that effect as well. And we can gel that back flash so that it gives us a different color. So we're gonna do all those three things now. Back on Layla's side a little bit more. Yep, yep. that's it. And you need to be in behind her shoulders, Greg. Yep, um, just, to, just around her shoulder blades is fine, but I can see you there, can you shuffle across there? Yep, okay, that's good, because we don't wanna see you. So Pooja, can you... Um, Turn those lights out for us. So I'm on one second, Greg. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. That worked really well. Okay, so just got to... We might actually use... We might put that um, mirror down and use the reflector. I think that's going to be better. This one. Because that light's a little bit harsh. So again, there, yep, no, no, sideways. But look, look where you can see that, that light and then just hold it up in front of your face. Yep, that'll do, okay. Let's see how that goes. Yes, please turn it off. That's good, Greg, a little bit more smiley later. I know it feels a bit weird <laughs> to be doing this sort of stuff. Um, Tonsi, can you hold it up higher for me? Yep, here we go. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. One more. <laughs> no, not that one. Actually, we might do that again, but I might hold that reflector back here so we get that softer light. Okay, when you're ready, yep. Here we go. Turn that fan on, please. Yep, okay. Here we go. Great, one more. Okay, all right, <laughs> one more. Okay, there's a good serious look for us this time. Here we go. 
Okay, great. Lights, please. All right, yes, that looks good. Okay, so Pooja, you're just spraying between Steve and Gladys, just all around here, yep. Okay. Oh, and then that sorry. backlight, you're back there a bit, bit further, that's going to light that. Layla's doing everything perfectly and I'm stuffing <laughs> all this up. Okay, spray. Okay. Whoa! Yes. Spectacular. Here we go. Go. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, so okay, turn the lights back on please. Okay, lights off please, Tonsi. The spray. Here we go. Cool. Bit more spray this time. Yeah. Go. Okay. Yep. Once again, a bit more back towards you too. Here we go. That's it. Yeah, okay. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> that looks really good. See these? Oh, <laughs> <evil>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks a bit devilish, doesn't it? Yeah, cool. Mm. Okay, not as bad as I thought. <laughs> um, what we're going to do now is simply use the mirrors to reflect light onto Layla and create a shape on that background. She's standing here, we're going to use various different shape mirrors, different size, and use that light to reflect it directly onto her. It's going to show a shape on the background, so it's going to look um, a bit different. We're still using our pop-up flash, just a single pop-up flash on my camera. Okay, so, um, um, Tonsi, you want to go first? So, we need to hold that up. All right, yep, use that the background, and Layla's going to tell you when it's in the right spot. Yeah? Okay, that's cool. Okay, here we go. All right, tilt it down at the top, Tonsi. Down, yep, that's it. <laughs> Bit too far, back up just a little. Yeah, that's it, good. Okay, now turn it around to a diamond. Yeah, that's it, good. Okay, great stuff. One more, yep. Yeah. Okay, here we go. No, nope, totally missed. I've got to be able to see later in there, so back this way a bit more. Yeah, that's it. Good. Here we go. Yep. Up a little bit. Yep. Good. Back that way a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>